Okay, today we're going to be looking at the LaSalle's Compact Ripple Tank. Unlike most Ripple Tanks, uh, the LaSalle's Ripple Tank requires no complicated setup procedure. You can see there are no legs to screw in, there's no external vibration generator necessary, and there's no ungainly overhead light source to get in the way. Everything is self-contained in this one easy to use, easy to set up unit. And to show you just how easy to set up it is, let's do it now. The first thing we're gonna do is add some water. You're gonna wanna add enough water to reach about halfway up the beach. That's plenty. You can always fine tune the water depth for specific experiments by using a syringe later. Now, while it's not essential, I am going to add a small amount of surfactant to the water. It just helps improve the definition of the waves on the screen. This is just simple washing up liquid and you don't need very much. A small drop on the end of the finger and wiped around the edge of the tank where the water meets it. The only thing you need to be careful of here is that you don't create any bubbles in the tank because they cause interference on the screen. With that done, the only thing left is to add a dipper. I'm going to use the twin point dipper here and that slides simply onto the post at the back of the tank. And we're going to push it down until it just touches the water's surface. And that's it. You close the lid, switch it on and we're ready to go. Now the controls on the front of the tank are very simple. I'm going to set the strobe lamp to sync and what this does is it links the frequency of the strobe lamp with the frequency of the waves and that gives you perfectly stationary images on the screen. We can control that frequency using this control here. At the bottom end we're down at about 50 hertz and all the way up at the top to about 500 hertz. And what you'll do is you'll adjust that until you get exactly the picture on the top that you want to demonstrate to the students. Now the benefit of having stationary waves on the top is that students can come along and they can trace using a piece of paper the wave patterns that you've produced on the ripple tank and they can keep that in their books for, for later use. But it's not the best visual effect. Often the best effect is given when the waves are moving slightly. And we can do that easily by switching the LED to free mode. What that does is it gives us independent control over the LED frequency and the wave frequency. And by adjusting the LED until the frequency is just about the same as the waves, but not quite, you end up with slowly moving images on the screen. Now the tank is supplied with a range of accessories here. Uh, we have a set of shapes for refraction work. There are some barriers for reflection and diffraction, and there are three dippers. There's a single point dipper for doing circular waves, a twin point dipper for interference, which I've got in here now, and a plane dipper that can be used for reflection, refraction, diffraction, and so on. And with that in mind, why don't we take a closer look at those phenomena in action? So well, there we have it, the LaSalle's Compact Ripple Tank. Easy to set up and easy to use. Thanks for watching. <laughs>